Hi guys and welcome to TechFurb. Today we're going to be doing an episode on overclocking a Ryzen 7 CPU on both a B350 motherboard and an X370 motherboard. So let's get into it. Okay, so uh, basically this is going to be a bit of a short and sweet video. I don't really want to drag this one out because uh, it's, it's pretty straightforward content. So uh, there's not been a lot of content out there on the difference between uh, a B350 and X370 board, uh, especially not with a Ryzen 7 CPU, um, which I found quite concerning. A lot of people just went, oh, just buy the, the X370 board. You don't need to buy a B350. It was kind of assumed. Um, but no one really did any in-depth testing. Uh, in-depth in testing. So uh, I wanted to know whether you know it's a better purchase decision or not however having said that uh, as featured in my last couple of videos on the 1080 Ti and the GTX 1080 uh, I did actually get managed to get my hands on an X370 motherboard that my mate had lent me for a couple of weeks that's now back with him uh, and I one last video on it was I wanted to do this test so uh, the key thing I'm looking for the key thing I'm looking at here is um, I understand that there are, and, and you probably will as well, there are differences in the actual chipset between B350 and X370, uh, and they purely come down to things like uh, PCIe lanes, um, USB 3.1 support, that's, you know, all these other features uh, that you might care about, but I am not as interested in. So my concern was, uh, does a Ryzen 7 CPU need the beefed up VR VRM uh, setup that does come with an X370 board? Oh, can you scratch by with a B350 board? So that's what I wanted to know. And um, the reason why that's especially important to me is I actually have a full-blown proper EK Waterbox custom uh, water, water loop. So it's the, the cooling system is more than capable of handling a, uh, a Ryzen 7 CPU overclock to absolute limits of what the chip can do. But on my B350 board, I've always been stuck at 3.7 gigahertz. Uh, and I had no way of testing whether that I just had a dud CPU that didn't overclock well or um, my reality was that I bought a cheap motherboard. Now I had suspected that it may be a VRM because when I did testing I found that the um, the VRMs themselves would go up to around 120, 324 degrees at 3.7 gigahertz and it seems whenever they hit 125 degrees the system will hard power off. Uh, so, and that, that would happen at anything higher than 3.7 gigahertz and a 1.3875 uh, V-Core setting. So, basically the premise uh, with the X370 board was um, I went through, did the testing, as you can see in the B-roll that I'm running here, uh, and the, the, you know, on an open test bench, the best I could do was 3.8 gigahertz in the middle of winter on a very cold night uh, on the B350 board. So, and, and even then that wasn't sustained. Uh, my reality was 3.7, 24-7 overclock, that is my limit. So, with that baseline, um, as you, you'll see in the B-roll here, I, I got that nice shot of, uh, of the uh, hardware monitor as well. I just set the camera in front of the computer screen and just let it record for, you know, the, the full length of the tests that I did until the system either powered off or I, you know, it got to a point where I was like, yep, that is that is leveling off. That's that's kind of the baseline. Um, and yeah, so 3.7 was limited on the B350. I went ahead, pulled the B350, B350 board off, took the, the uh, Ryzen 7 1700 out Dropped in, uh, dropped in the X370 board, and away I went again. Immediately went to the 3.7 gigahertz overclock. Didn't need to run it at the B core that I was running on the B350 board, which was interesting. Um, that beefed up VRM was able to do it at around like 1.35 volts, I believe, at 3.7 gigahertz. 3 gigahertz. So um, that VRM upgrade was a massive difference, and I was able to really push. Uh, got to 3.8 no sweat, um, got to 3.9 again, no sweat, but I did have to run a 1.3875 V-Core to stabilize it. Uh, and then that's where it got interesting. This is where I started to find the limits of the chip. So uh, when I pushed, I, went, I pushed for four gigahertz, um, fed it 1.4 volts at, at four gigahertz because I knew that this chip was gonna need that extra power. And it didn't get far, it got about uh, 20, five seconds into the stress test and as soon as the, the CPU just had too much power going through it went ah, I'm out and, and, and just system went hard lock uh, because it wasn't getting enough voltage to sustain the overclock so 
you know, power down system, bump it up to 4.125. Uh, same problem again, I had to go, um, and, and the, for me, this was kind of the line. I wasn't going any higher than that because at the end of the day, this is my CPU and I can't really afford to replace it. So um, for me, I decided that, okay, uh, let's work backwards. So I left it at 1.4125 volts uh, and down clock to 3.95, same issue. Went to 3.925, same issue. Um, so at the end of the day, uh, I found out that the X370 board uh, could only do an extra 200 megahertz overclock. And that wasn't anything to take away from the motherboard. So looking at the VRMs at that 3.9 gigahertz overclock, they were so nice and cool. They didn't get very hot. They got maybe 70s, 80s. And this was under the same time period that I had uh, the B350 board running for. So that beefed up VRM could easily handle a, a higher overclock, uh, but we were hitting the limits of the um, the actual Ryzen 7 CPU, uh, which is exact, was the exact result I wanted. I wasn't at the limit of my cooling system. I wasn't at the limit of the motherboard. I was the limit of the CPU that I was trying to damn well overclock. So um, that, that was great news. But uh, I guess the reason why um, this video needs to exist on the internet is because here's the thing. The B350 board I run, the, um, the MSI B350M Mortar Arctic, uh, it's an MATX board, and the VRM on it is a four plus two phase, if I remember correctly. Uh, it's not fantastic, but the motherboard costs 140 Australian dollars if you bought it now. It cost me 150 when I bought it at launch. Uh, this was a year ago, by the way, so not much of a price drop. Um, but if you want to go out and get an X370 board uh, that has the VRM there to do the higher overclocks, you're looking at, at an entry price of around 200 Australian dollars. And you want an X470 board, it's going up uh, probably to uh, the high 200s in you know, 270, 280 territory is probably the cheapest I have seen of an X470 board that I would buy. So um, at the end of the day, uh, my message, I guess, is this. If you're uh, on a budget, um, and let's say you can afford a Ryzen 7 CPU, but you can only afford a B350 board if you get the Ryzen 7 CPU, go ahead, do it. Um, you're gonna not get a maximum overclock, but uh, you know what? If the extra $100 saved means that you don't get the extra 200 megahertz overclock that comes with that territory, that's fine. Um, I am of the conclusion that I, I wanted to get an X370 board because I felt like that uh, B350 board was holding me back. But at the end of the day, now that I've done the test, I'm not gonna be going to X370 on, on my Ryzen 7 CPU anytime soon. So um, yeah, that's that's pretty much all I've got, guys. It was a short video, it was a sweet video. Uh, so if you have any questions, any comments, uh, hit me up down below. Uh, I do quite regularly read those comments uh, on my videos. So if you are commenting, I'm usually responding within a, at, the, at most a couple of days, usually same day, um, bearing in mind I'm in Australia. So if you're overseas, there's a good chance I am asleep when you are messaging me. Um, but yeah, anyway, so if you like this video, guys, give it a like. If you disliked it, give it a dislike. Uh, and like I said, comments down below. Get subscribed if you want uh, more content. Normally I do a lot more in depth, uh, but in this case, I just wanted to just, just put this information out there, give you guys a little bit of B-roll over the top. And um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I've got on this one, guys. So thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.